actually the data pre-processing part that was done in the Jupyter notebook uh, and that was a separate notebook file I will uh, share that file also with you and after after the data pre-processing after <coughs> creating our database I uploaded the data here the COVID data set and the zip file is here COVID data set from my Google Drive itself and after that in, in this project I implemented this uh, libraries I imported all these libraries and the specif I specified the path for training and testing and all the images that are uh, present in in my folder is shown in a key I have 224 images that belongs to two classes and it, now the index number is zero and for normal it is one and this folder let me tell you a little bit about this folders the COVID data set this is the actual folder it contains two folders train and validation the training folder yeah, it, it also has it also have two folders covid and normal and all the covid <clears throat> this covid folder contains all the images of covid positive uh, people's x-ray images uh, let me open uh, one image for you so when i'm double double clicking on this this is the image for a covid patient here it is showing another image also you may see so this is a zoomed image if uh, maybe you can see this this image and now uh, similarly there is another folder this is covid and this is normal this normal folder contains all the images of a normal a normal patient's chest x-ray also a validation data set this also contains the same uh, there, there are also covid and normal I, I will not train this folder i will just train this folder and then i will pick a random image uh, from this folder covid or normal this is for our purpose only i will pick a random image from covid or from normal and then i will let the model decide and let the model predict whether this is this image is of a covid positive present or a, a normal present whether the person is having pneumonia symptoms or not so that's why i have specified the tra uh, training uh, data path this is the training data generator function this this is uh, the path of the training folder the contained and covid data set that that I, I already discussed and then uh, this is the test data set path the validation uh, data set path and then i have trained the model this is basically the cnn model and i use sequential model here there are uh, con 2d layers these, these are all the layers and i have specified the input shape only in the first layer because, because only in the first layer is necessary after that is not even necessary and these are, these are all the uh, layers so uh, let me quickly run this run this also this is running properly now this also this is also running properly i'm again running all the uh, cells and i'm training the model in this also the runtime is gpu gpu is used for actually training the images and after that this is a model summary you can see the number of parameters are increasing in, uh, as I am moving ahead in my uh, all the layers the number of parameters are increased significantly so the next thing is the model feed generator this is used for actually the epochs I have specified that I specified 10 epochs and there will be eight steps for each epoch so this is the main actual part where, when I will be training my model and this this may take a little bit time at that time i will discuss about all the other uh, this is actually training right now so for testing the model i have specified the path here uh, and this path is of a random image i will show you after uh, this is completed so i will show you then i may pick any random image from here the from the validation part valid, validation folder which has not been trained but I will when I will copy the path and paste it here. Uh, this is just like something. Uh, there is a button upload your image here, and when I will upload my image there, this is just a path, and I will upload my image there, and then I will check. I will predict whether this person is having uh, uh, COVID or not. So th these are the functions, and here just using uh, the classes predict. This is a, a special function for sequential model. I have uh, stated this person is COVID positive. And if uh, this image is also of COVID positive, this is you may see contain COVID data set validation and COVID. By simply seeing this, we can predict this person is COVID positive, but the model is also able to decide it. So after this is done, I will I will show you. Just after this is eight epochs completed. Um, epoch number nine and 
and also the accuracy you may see the accuracy is increasing 92 percent accuracy in this time 92.97 percent accuracy and the validation accuracy is 96.88 uh, so uh, this is actually varying from 87 percent to uh, 95 percent this is varying sometimes it is showing 87 percent accuracy sometimes the minimum was 87 percent but right now the accuracy is 92.97 uh, which is quite good for the initial stage so now i am picking a random image here uh, from this validation data set i am picking an image of a normal person and any random image i am copying this part i am copying this part and i am pasting the path here uh, i just am pasting the path here okay so now i am running this cell after that i am running this cell this is just for the uh, for the data uh, the round, for rounding the data and now when i will uh, run this uh, so you may see this is a normal image i, I specified a normal uh, normal person's x-ray image i provided anyway. so actually this is <clears throat> running quite good and this was the last portion the testing the model this portion we added uh, in in this last uh, one to uh, one and a half months so okay. this is it okay uh, i'll i'll put my comments later another thing uh, you also make some two or three ppt slides that whatever you have improved from the last one month you, whatever you have said you put it mm -hmm. in a slide okay, okay sir. one okay. more slide that slide maybe tomorrow we'll see a very good presentation and um, i'll come to the other part of it uh, so uh, let uh, uh, ritika comment on it ritika then samudra then tushar ritika so sir finally like deep our deep learning model and everything is completed okay. so now the thing is that yesterday only we were planning that we will start with android okay. uh, i and samudra will try for android and project okay. will handle the uh, web application portion okay so okay. we'll we'll okay. start it okay so, we'll Shumudru, next week. so i'll i'll come to ritika samudra raise hand on samudra raise your hand yes sir actually i was Asking to see if the same model can be implemented using TensorFlow Lite, so it will be easy to implement it on Android. Okay, uh, that is that is your job. Okay, yeah, let we'll Pradipto, see. Now, whatever I think, the Pradipto, uh, I I agree. The Pradipto is great enough. Acknowledge everybody's contribution, but I do not want to disturb Pradipto. Let Pradipto uh, do the single entity that job. I, I uh, the Pradipta has done a splendid job with support of you. Let Pradipta continue with his own goal because I am not specified any goal, but Pradipta has done a lot. Okay, so let, let Pradipta run his or her show. Uh, so, one thing, Pradipta, I must tell you you should look around uh, certain research paper, Ritika will and Shomutra help you how to make a publish this your result. So there you have to put the result and not only one uh, uh, neural network platform, you should not waste your code, you should at least two, three results from different network like uh, different um, uh, uh, deep layer network and what is the accuracy and all these things are coming. It's a good data set. Uh, how many data set is there? 225. I, I miss. Uh, how, how I, yes, sir. <clears throat> the total uh, 224 images. Okay. And uh, you see that the same images has been used in other, uh, definitely in some technical research paper. So, we, we download these papers and we try to make a paper out of it. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Yes, Here, sir. you have to say that you have tried this model. Um, there, you just I make my video on. So, what we are supposed to do right now, uh, you download with the same. Uh, data or similar area what are the papers available at google scholar and mm -hmm. try to make a, a comparative two three pages paper the paper we cannot give the uh, we, we, we cannot give the source code we have to see that we have used deep layer this model this layer, this model and there we can try shomutra will try with another model uh, first of all we have to establish 
uh, our work on it. Uh, in fact, I will uh, uh, tell Ritika and Shomutra and Tushar also, you first try to uh, contradict or uh, con uh, talk with Pradipto and we also that how to make two, three results so that we can make a table. So, you can say that we have done, we have done this method, but our method with this such tuning of deep layer networking, maybe you have used four layer, five layer, different connection, different you are getting some, but uh, Pradipto that 87 to 96 is very, very big variance. Can you, can you make it a... 87 can you improve in 91 92 then they Sir, uh, this is uh, right now it has 92.97 okay. accuracy but, but for all uh, 92 not for all maybe for uh, different data like uh, unknown data it will be later uh, less. For, and for the validation part uh, it yeah. is showing 96 percent accuracy okay. so validation, data means, validation data means it has not been shown too earlier no this uh, data is shown to earlier. No, sir. Validation means uh, the data, the training data itself. I have divided the training data into two parts: the training and testing. Training okay. data also. The okay. model with itself is yes, sir. Okay. No, so but uh, one okay. So one thing, one portion is training data, and mm. you should get result not with training data, an unknown data. Yes, sir. Okay. This is the unknown data. This, unknown this data. is with unknown. Un this is the yeah, unknown. Question. Okay, but you this divided portion. it. But you divided it 50 50. Generally, it is done by uh, yes, 9 to 10 or 4 to 5. Sir, uh, this portion is 50 50. But uh, okay. when I was doing this, this is uh, 3 is to in 3 is to 1 ratio, 75% and 25% okay. while training. Okay. okay. And now, this this folder, the validation folder, contains the same number of images. And okay. uh, I am randomly choosing any image. Okay. So, One let me show you, sir, the data pre processing okay. part. No, no, for the, no, no. For, first, first, you see the international paper standard. You just take it. Generally, the two techniques are there. One is uh, four out of five or nine out of ten. Okay. You just check it. So you just follow that. It will be hardly a two-line code to implement that. Are you getting? Yes, so sir. you yeah. you divide your data five parts. Four parts you train it and only keep one part for your uh, this thing testing. So yes, you sir. just see the what is the international trend, what is the paper. On all the big papers or standard papers, like renowned papers, are telling you do that. Okay, we can discuss. So, my idea is Ritika and Shomutra, my idea is what the Pradipto is doing. At least one more try should be there in different direction to improve the accuracy. Maybe Pradipto cannot see. Ritika, can you try the, with the code with one more different way of layering? Are you Sir, getting definitely, it? I'll try. Yeah. So then at least two data will get it and in paper we can say we can try it in both this and this is the paper formation we will try in the next one month and then side by side you learn uh, with the uh, Android app and web app. Uh, so then uh, fine. So very good. Sir, so, actually, yeah, uh, yeah. excuse me, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, so actually, when I was uh, when I have started the project, actually at that time I also thought we should in, uh, import the TensorFlow and we should use TensorFlow exactly okay. TensorFlow for the model. But okay. as we know, Keras is not a full fledged deep learning framework. It's just a wrapper around the TensorFlow or the okay. Microsoft's product and okay. Python. So okay. that that's why I have used Keras because it provides many functionalities and. Um, okay. And even the TensorFlow official version is providing Keras. That's why I have used yeah. Keras. Now, Keras is uh, standard. So I'll yes, request yeah. Shomudra. Shomudra has raised a very good point. Shomudra, you please try with TensorFlow. Okay. Sir, sir yes, sir. This can be converted into TensorFlow and TensorFlow no, Lite. Go no, for no, 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 no conversion. Let Pradipto, you run this and yes. uh, Shomudra do the conversion part and all. Let me two, three versions of the program may run. So, we will select that. Or may okay, don't uh, okay, keep one or keep one or two working version is always with you, so that we can f fall back on it. Yes, so sir. TensorFlow you can then and anybody is try PyTorch. Uh, how is it? Is PyTorch? PyTorch also very good. Yes, a PyTorch uh, Facebook. My uh, Facebook it is really very good. Uh huh. Uh, but TensorFlow too is very good also. Yes, I sir, think I we should depend on, I think we should depend on Google Google platform. Ritika, yes. what I want to say, uh, uh, Android app, uh, I try to, uh, you uh, front end, you can make it try with Angular. But I found it, uh, Angular no, is no. 
Yeah, react, react would be better, I think. Yeah, true. Rudita, I understand you raised this point, but the React is from Facebook. That is another problem, and and I have found the difference between both. React is very good, but for a tight project, for, uh, for technically uh, Angular is good. React is easy to deploy, easy to learn. Yes, sir. And and Angular, I, I, Angular I, I, is a bit tougher. But Angular, uh, Angular projects can be bigger. Angular and Angular first, first of all is supported by Google. So mm-hmm. right now we all see, see everybody now. You can never see right now in the Facebook. Uh, you can uh, do not find my post in Facebook and Instagram. But whatever I found it that uh, in fact Facebook and Instagram are killing our time, productive time. Uh, a lot of see. I found it lot of harmony among the disharmony among the people, the intra-family, inter-religion. So I just uh, I just uh, now avoid Facebook and Instagram. Uh, but the Google you cannot avoid, and Google uh, you can rely. See our Gmail. I am using Gmail from 2004, and not a single Gmail is make outside and all this. They are making ad and all. So I found it that it, but I React is also very good. React is, in fact, there is a two hot stays in the uh, front end, uh, React, and another is Angular. Uh, I found both is very good, but it is up to you, React or Angular. But only one thing I think, say, uh, if, if we all go by the Google, then it will be easier probably, uh, otherwise not. So that will think after one, one year, that is Angular and all these things are there. Google, we can also deploy, we can have certain database and we can think in this. So, Ritika, you're, you're, you, can you make any comment? Shomudra, can you make any comment? Shomudra, your TensorFlow is well accepted because it's a Google product. So, please try with TensorFlow. Can we have some improvement? Sir, if this? Yeah. if yeah. we go for Google products only, then we can go for Android Studio. That's developed by Google. Yeah, no, but uh, Shomudra, that uh, one problem with Android Studio is not it cannot cross that no, it is not cross Google has uh, two other products. One is Kotlin, and another is uh, uh, Flutter. 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 But Android Studio is not cross-platform, so we should think. Yeah, uh, if we try to use yeah. Flutter, we have to install. And I mean, it's better to u- install Android Studio and then work on it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But uh, what, in, uh, anybody has any idea about Flutter? Orunavo probably started. Yes, sir. Yeah, Pradeep, uh, please call. Yes, sir. Actually, I was also working with Flutter. I was trying to learn Dart and yeah, Dart. simple. Yes, simple. But uh, whatever I found that the review of the Flutter is. It is really cross development tool, yes, and sir. it is uh, it is uh, go well with React and um, um, Angular, and it is really cross development tool. So uh, Android Studio is okay. I am not uh, this thing, but we are not only Android app. We think should have uh, we should have cross development so that it should be iOS app also. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very but good. Development of iOS will be. Quite difficult as compared. No, to no, no. It is for uh, if you develop it to the Flutter, it is only a button. It, you don't have to do anything. I am talking about the deployment part only. The deployment, yeah, that is, uh, we we deployed uh, one deployment and it will be deployed at both ends. As far as I, from the literature, uh, you don't have to think of iOS part. If you develop to uh, Flutter, it will be a simultaneous development. 